So you think of a laser beam as highly collimated. It is highly collimated, but it's not really collimated forever. It seems that way because a top hat beam spreads instantly. A laser beam, the way a Gaussian beam spreads, it kind of stays together for a while and then it spreads out like that. And the distance over which it kind of stays together is proportional to the diameter of the beam divided by the wavelength of the light. And that's usually a big number, right? Usually we have sort of a millimeter or a few millimeter beam and we have half micron light. So it stays together for, for a long distance. But eventually it will spread out. And that's what I've set up here to show you. So here I've got our beam, which normally has sort of a one millimeter diameter. It's going all the way to the back of the lecture hall, bouncing off a mirror and coming all the way back here. And here you can see it's more like a two centimeter diameter, okay? This beam has not spread out because there's something wrong with the laser, or because I have a low quality mirror. This beam is spreading due to diffraction. You can see it's actually a very beautiful, perfect beam if you could get really close. I mean, it's, it's really a very nice Gaussian beam and it's spreading because of diffraction. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit more convincingly. Uh, we'll turn the lights out and let you see the laser a little bit better and be able to see it spreading due to diffraction. All right, so now I'm gonna to try to make the beam visible. Up here, the up and down beams are so close you can't even tell them apart, really. But then eventually, now they're starting to separate a little bit. So, the incident beam from straight from the laser, the thin one is on your left, and the reflected one is on your right. And now you can start to tell them apart. Now you can see this one, incident beam, still pretty sharp, and of course the reflected beam is really falling apart. And the difference gets bigger as we get closer and closer. So here you can really see the difference. Right. Let's see. And when I get all the way down here, huge difference. Very nice sharp laser beam on the incident, not much left on the, on the reflection, and it's only because they've traveled so far. It has nothing to do with the quality of the beam, it only has to do with diffraction.